you would have heard people constantly talk about the quality of food the quality of product the quality of life and a lot of things about the quality but what about the quality of power that we get well ultimately to get a good quality product what we need is good quality of power you know studies have shown that every single year globally because of poor quality of power people loses people and the business loses around 300 billion dollars every single year the amount is huge certainly the topic of power quality is also very very critical and in this video we are going to talk about what is power quality and which is uh, very very suitable for the beginners Hello there welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is Gaurav J on this channel i simplify electrical engineering so if you are someone who is interested in learning uh, interesting topics in very very easy language then make sure you subscribe to the channel with bell notification icon turned on so that you do won't miss any of the updates in this video we are going to talk about the power quality so first we will start with what is power quality then we will talk about the importance of power quality then we will see power quality is equal to voltage quality what is that topic we will understand that and then we will have a look at some of the causes of having poor power quality and then lastly we will see some of the different issues uh, of the power quality so let us first start with what is power quality and to understand that let us take a simple example of a car and fuel now imagine you have a car which works on a petrol now when you put a good quality petrol into that the car would work normally and as intended right there won't be any issues with that but imagine if i put water into the petrol right and i insert that petrol a mixed petrol into the car then the car would start having problems it will malfunction or maybe it would stop working because the quality of fuel for the car is very very pure and certainly no doubt the car would start having problems well the same thing also applies to the ele different electrical equipment that we use for example we have an induction motor and this induction motor is designed to operate at a certain magnitude of voltage and a certain waveform which is the sine wave for alternating current supply but instead of sine wave voltage let's say you are giving a voltage which is not very sinusoidal you can see example on your screen certainly this would cause problem with induction motor because it is not designed to carry the waveform what which you can see on the right hand side so the induction motor will start having problems the induction motor uh, may be start malfunctioning or uh, there would be heating issues or the motor will fail completely and this particular topic is what we can refer as the power quality topic there is a deviation on uh, the waveform there is a deviation on the voltage and that basically is represented by the term power quality let us have a look at a proper definition of power quality power quality is any problem manifested into voltage current or frequency deviation that results in misoperation or failure of customer's equipment the definition is very clear and very simple it says any problem that is happening in voltage current or frequency which will cause misoperation or failure of the customer's equipment is referred as the power quality topic it is very very critical topic as i mentioned initially almost more than 300 billion dollars are lost because of the poor quality every single year so certainly it's a topic of critical importance now let us talk about why we should be worried about power quality is it something that we should be worried or maybe we can ignore the power quality topic well certainly not power quality is a concern of customer and also the concern of the power supplying utility how let us talk about that first let's start with uh, from the perspective of the customer so imagine you have a manufacturing industry and uh, because of the poor quality of the power uh, the equipment that i have on my production line would malfunction or maybe uh, you know completely fail i would be having induction motor which will start overheating which is again a problem for me and if that continues then there would be failure and once the process fails then i would lose the time 
in the production which is ultimately will result in the monetary loss right the finances will be disturbed and everything will be disturbed and there are processes in the industry which will take 3 hours 4 hours to restart so there is a huge loss of production also now the booming industry data centers now study shows because of the poor power quality the data center loses more than eight thousand dollars per minute due to the downtime so for data center certainly power quality is very very critical topic and they have to do the arrangement to make sure that they have a good power quality or even for the retail business where let's say you have to store a lot of material a lot of products in the refrigeration and there is a failure due to power quality then all this material would be wasted and ultimately it would result into the loss of money also in the critical applications like hospital like because of the poor power quality if you're losing the power and because of that your equipments are malfunctioning uh, then there could be loss of life which is a very very serious topic now certainly uh, the hospitals would have backup and uh, everything taken care to maintain the good quality of power but if it is not there then the poor quality of power would certainly cause serious damage now from the point of view of uh, the distribution utility they have to make sure they are providing the good quality of power because then only they can have the customers because the competition is also increasing in the utility market there are private utilities coming in who are ready to supply you the power so the competition is going up and if you are having constant problems from one utility you will for sure shift to the another utility so to maintain the customers utilities need to make sure that they maintain the power quality rather uh, it's not the topic of only utility it is also the topic of customers because power quality is majorly driven by the customers and not uh, by the utilities how is that uh, that we will understand in the next uh, topic that we have to discuss which is power quality is equal to the voltage quality so when i say that power quality is equal to the voltage quality it is because the utilities are responsible only for the voltage part how much current you are drawing is dependent on the load which is dependent on the customer so utility do not have direct control on the currents but they do have the control on the voltage quality so all the standards that you will see uh, which are pertaining to the power quality topics they will focus on maintaining the voltage quality from utility side now what utility have to do utility have to make sure that the frequency remains as per the rated frequency and the voltage remains the sinusoidal wave which is the ideal scenario so if you look at the ideal scenario here uh, my sine wave is a perfect sine wave plus i am having the rated frequency which could be 50 hertz or 60 hertz and uh, the voltage is within the defined magnitude the waveform is within the defined magnitude now this is an ideal scenario if there is any deviation to this then it is a topic of power quality if my sine wave is not the perfect one it's a topic of power quality and utility is only having control over this control over voltage and hence mostly you will also find some definition which majorly focuses on the voltage quality and that's why it is said power quality is equal to the voltage quality which is super super important but there are some scenarios where the current also draws or also affects the quality of the uh, voltage so just to give you some examples you can see the fault currents when the short circuit happens the current reach uh, goes to a very high value in that case for certain amount of time voltage disappears completely so in this case the current is disturbing the voltage or there could be lightning strikes uh, for because of the lightning strikes again there will be imbalances in voltage or a voltage may be disappear for some amount of time so certainly there are some scenarios uh, in which the current will cause problem to the voltage but majorly what you have to remember is when we say power quality it is equal to the quality of the voltage now let us have a look at some of the causes of the poor power quality what makes the quality of power poor let's understand that so first switching of the large load so when you switch on or switch off the large load especially the inductive load like induction motors and other devices uh, it causes some imbalance in the voltage because the 
phases uh, voltage and current are not perfectly 90 degree with each other in such load so for sure it will cause the issue with the voltage so that again is referred as the power quality lightning strikes as i mentioned uh, if it that happens again it will impact the voltage levels so that is also one of the cause for poor power quality short circuit faults we talked about it already then if there is a single phase fault happening on a three phase system again there will be imbalances and it is considered as the power quality issue unbalanced load certainly when you put different different loads uh, to different different phases which is not drawing the equal amount of current it is called as unbalanced load and that for sure causes uh, the imbalance in the system the voltage would be uh, differing and i have a video explaining the unbalanced load i'll put link for that down in the description you can go and check it out after this video then there could be momentary power loss from the utility side that is also considered as the poor power quality because when the when we lose the power of course the equipment shuts down so that is part of the power quality again capacitor bank switching is also one of the critical cause of poor power quality again the reason is voltage and current are not in phase with this so when you switch at the capacitor banks uh, the, because of the charging and discharging of that we see some imbalances in the system and of course the non-linear loads like the switching devices we have we have a lot of chargers nowadays we have ups's who converts the power every single time so there will be constant switching happening so that are also the reason of poor power quality and you see most of this are maybe not in the control of utility there you have to control it at your end customer's end so those are some of the causes of the poor power quality now let's talk about we talked about different causes of the poor power quality and that causes will result into some issues of the power quality let's let's have a look at that so the issues of the power quality are voltage sags and swells so um, when it is sag it voltage will drop for a certain amount of time when it is a swell voltage will rise to a higher values there could be harmonic distortions and interharmonics there could be micro cuts or outages so completely voltage will go down there will be spikes or transient in the system under voltage or over voltage is again cause uh, issues of the power quality voltage imbalance voltage fluctuations or flickering you would have seen the lights in the house sometimes flicker that is basically because of the poor power quality under or over frequency and poor power factor poor power factor is very important because if you maintain the power factor uh, below the defined limits then there will be penalties utility will charge you penalty so these are some of the issues of uh, the poor power quality and if you can see the waveform here so the first part represent the pure sine wave the next part you see it has dropped the magnitude of it has dropped and this is called as voltage sag and then suddenly it has rise to a higher value this is called as voltage swell and then you can see harmonics here harmonic distortion and then you can see micro cut or the interruption the red line represents where the voltage becomes absolutely zero so that is a micro cut or the interruption now certainly these issues are very very critical in the industry and that needs to be addressed so every industry uh, will try to maintain the good power quality now if you want me to make a detailed video on the different issues of the power quality then comment issues of power quality if i get enough comments then definitely i'll make a dedicated video explaining the different issues of power quality but the topic is really really important and i hope you got a basic idea uh, about what is power quality from this video if the video was helpful then do like the video and do share it with the people you think might be interested thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning